For 25 years, youth and philanthropy has broadly impacted students and their community. And it all started back in 1997 under the direction of Ruben Ordunia. We wanted to find something new and different that would help introduce the foundation to individuals and families. And that led us to the idea of engaging youth. It was the first in the state and one of the first in the nation. There was starting to be community service requirements in Metro West schools, but we wanted the students to get involved. So when I started, Youth and Philanthropy was three small programs with maybe 35 students total. We had the tremendous good fortune of having uh, some donors. They were extremely important and instrumental in endowing five programs in the Concord community. We really felt we were on to something. I think the students had come together from, from different high schools. We really started to get a sense of what were some of the key issues that they wanted to see addressed. And they became very active in terms of defending their decisions about what to support. Hear them coming to do their presentation towards the end of the program and for them to speak about what they learned and what they took away from that. The educational impact that these kids are taking at that moment in time and hopefully for years beyond that was crucial. You know, it wasn't false trust. It wasn't like, we're gonna give you some control, sort of. It was real dollars, and they got to present the checks. I always felt that that simple idea really helped to start, uh, within the Community Foundation movement, a new idea of engaging younger people into the work of the foundation. And in the past 25 years, YIP has engaged with and given funds to 197 local nonprofits and distributed nearly 500 grants. The Youth and Philanthropy Program arguably is the most important program that we have specifically in the area of youth development. I have an opportunity to sit with them for quite a while, educate them and talk about what the needs are and how we're meeting them and what their dollars will be used for in a way that I think will help them be better educated donors in the future. The Metro West community has its challenges and needs and it is so inspiring to know that the Foundation for Metro West and Youth and Philanthropy students are engaged in meeting those challenges. Being able to have our student body see other young people come into our space, ask really important, awesome questions, and then decide to support our program uh, really helps model and show that regardless of their age that they can give back. When a program endures for 25 years, it needs to be able to adapt and change. There was a steep learning curve when we needed to move the program to virtual during the pandemic, and we needed to get creative. The switch to virtual programming made our program more efficient across the board. So we were able to adapt and engage even further by instituting virtual site visits, as well as creating and implementing a virtual graduation. Several years ago, the foundation had the opportunity to copyright their curriculum. This was a massive milestone for the program. Basically, it means that the integrity of the program will always be maintained and that when the foundation does scale the program, that they're able to maintain that level of quality. That quality has produced over 2,500 YIP alumni across the country. YIP empowered me at a very young age that young people can and should have space at the table of decision making. It was fun. I mean, it took me yeah. a minute, but it, like, it got you got you get out of your comfort zone and you really get into it and you start to enjoy it and the conversations that you have. You get to see both sides of the coin. I'm able to embody and take with me this core belief that the foundation has, which is that even a little bit of good can make a world of difference. We give grants to these organizations. We decide. We visit them. We listen to their um, presentations, and I think all of those skills and just learning about what people are really doing in the real world is super important, especially in high school. Having been in the program in my senior year of high school in the region and now getting to oversee the program and to support it today is just a dream come true. I love this program. I love what it does for our communities and for our young people. As a philanthropist, I feel like funding a youth and philanthropy program is giving a gift to the next generation. And I think for many, the decision to live and raise their families here in the Metro West region means that these young people will have an opportunity to take advantage of their philanthropy education and to use that in continuing to strengthen and supporting this great area. 
On behalf of the Foundation's friends, donors, nonprofit partners, and neighbors, we're happy to be celebrating 25 years of youth and philanthropy. Happy 25th anniversary yet. Happy 25th. Happy 25th anniversary. Happy 25th youth and philanthropy. Congratulations on 25 years of youth and philanthropy. Keep up the great work. Happy 25th anniversary, youth and philanthropy. Happy 25th anniversary. Thank you so much for all that you do and happy 25th anniversary. Happy 25th anniversary, youth and philanthropy. Happy 25th anniversary to youth and philanthropy. Happy 25th anniversary, youth. 25 years going strong. Thank you.